Hello everyone, welcome back to Bud's Smart Home. Today I'm thrilled to introduce the Linkind Matter Smart Plug, a device that seamlessly integrates with popular smart home platforms like Apple Home, Alexa, Google Home, SmartThings, and more. Stick around for a demonstration where I'll compare the process of adding this Matter device to the SmartThings version 2 hub, which is solely a Matter controller, and then I'm gonna add it to my AOTech hub, which is equipped with a thread border router. As a brief overview, the Linkkind Matter Smart Plug is FCC certified with fire resistant materials, providing a power capacity of 1800 watts and 15 amps. It provides protection against short circuits and overloads. It has a compact design, which permits you to use two smart plugs in any standard two socket wall receptacle. The plug two pack typically retails for around $37 or about $18.50 per plug. I was fortunate to purchase this during the Amazon Black Friday event and paid only $23 for the two plug pack. Before you rush out to get your Linkine Matter Smart Plugs, here are some important tips. Matter devices require a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi and a IPv6 network. So ensure that your setup aligns with these requirements. Also, if you own a SmartThings version 2 hub, you'll also need a third-party Matter certified hub with a built-in thread border router in order to establish a thread network. Matter certified hubs include Apple's HomePod Mini, Google's Nest Hub, and Amazon's Echo Gen 4 smart speaker. Once one of these third-party hubs establishes a home thread network, the SmartThings V2 hub will serve as a matter controller for the thread network. The SmartThings version 3 hub and the AOTech hub both contain a thread router, so a third-party thread border router is unnecessary if you own one of those SmartThings compatible hubs. In the segment that follows, I'll give a demonstration of the difference between the SmartThings version 2 hub as compared to the AOTech hub when adding a matter device. For the purpose of this demonstration, keep in mind that the AOTech hub is identical to the SmartThings version 3 hub. The AOTech hub is just a rebranded SmartThings version 3 hub. Also, note that I'm using an iPhone for this demonstration. The iPhone's iOS operating system uses your iCloud account to provision smart home devices to your thread network. Those with Android devices will have a different onboarding experience. I'll first demonstrate the process of adding the plug to the SmartThings 2015 version 2 hub. Because the SmartThings version 2 hub lacks a thread border router, I must first add the plug to a third party hub which contains a thread border router. In today's demonstration, I'm using my Gen 4 Echo as my third party thread border router and I'm onboarding my Linkine sensor using the Alexa app. I will then use the Alexa app to generate a Matter device code to share with the SmartThings app in order to provision the plug to the SmartThings version 2 hub. Following the SmartThings hub version 2 demonstration, I will then demonstrate a simplified pairing process when using the AOTech hub. Because the AOTech and the SmartThings version 3 hubs have a built-in thread border router, I'm able to add Matter devices directly to either of these hubs without the need for another third-party hub. Okay, here's my Linkind plug 2-pack. And it uh, comes with a manual here and two Matter plugs. So we'll grab one of these plugs, set that off to the side. We're gonna go ahead and select add a device so to do that we just go to devices hit the plus sign add a device and uh, going to say plug and other and we're going to select matter and it's asking if it has a logo matter logo it does so we're going to scan that code and uh, here we go under the camera there we go it picked it up looking for the device we're gonna go ahead and then plug this in so it says connecting to your device this is flashing between yellow and green 
and it's supposed to be rapid flashing yellow or orange I guess that says orange in the in the manual whenever it's establishing the the, the uh, network I guess so we'll try that it went blank on me here so we're gonna try this again I'm gonna reset this all right so now it's connecting so I pressed and held that just to turn it on Alexa is getting your device ready it's rapid flashing there so it says connecting your device to the network okay it's solid green now so I would think that indicates that it's a successful connection all right so before it called it a uh, Lidarson or Lederson plug I don't know why it refers to it as Lederson but it is a link kind plug we'll hit next so under plugs there should be a new plug it's called second plug and it's on now let's open that up and there's off on off on so there's a green light I'm not sure if you can see that or not but it is working properly at this point we want to go into settings and we want to select this option other assistants and apps so we're going to add this to the smart things app to do that we need to generate a setup code which we copy now let's go over to the smart things app hit add a device so we'll select partner devices and then we'll select matter then we're going to add without a qr code that's a selection at the bottom here we'll paste that uh, matter code in here and hit next all right so it's getting everything ready we're going to select my bud smart home hub opposed to the aotech hub now whether or not you can select uh, aotech and set this up directly i'm not sure right now we're adding this to the icloud account you'll see this rapid flashing yellow Now it's flashing back and forth between green and yellow, so it's found a smart plug. We'll hit continue. So it's added it to the iCloud account. Now it's connecting to the device. Again, rapid flashing yellow. Registering the device. And we've got success. So we'll leave this as uh, let's call this um, link kind plug one save and we'll just leave that in miscellaneous room and hit done so there's no energy monitoring or anything like that um, I don't know why it's saying it found the plug so very responsive on and off and yeah, like I said there's no energy monitoring on this plug it's a simple off on plug so we got that one added um, I'm curious as to whether I can add a plug we'll put this over here in the other slot I'm just curious whether I can add this second plug directly to the AOTech hub since it has a thread border router built in. I've not tried this yet, so this is uh, an experiment. So we'll go ahead and let's try to add a device. And this is without entering it into the Miss A app. So I'm not sure how this is going to work if I can have two different thread networks or just going into uncharted territory here so we're going to add partner devices matter and we'll go ahead and scan this QR code directly into smart things all right so it's found the code it says now ready to add we'll try directly to the AOTech hub here okay preparing your device let's go ahead and plug this in 
All right, it's in discovery mode. Found outlet. Connecting. So it appears if you have a AOTech or a SmartThings version 3 hub, this is an easier route to add the plug. Assuming this is successful, it appears to be setting it up in the iCloud account. Outlet name, smart plug, we'll call it uh, uh, link kind smart plug, plug, we'll just call it plug two be consistent with the other. Hit done, continue. So it's been added. All right, it's flashing, connecting, rapid flashing amber or yellow. Registering. So it's been added now. So we'll hit done. So go back to this menu so you see Link kind plug one. A new device has been found. Add this device to smart things. So we already added it, so I'm going to exit out of there. So we got link kind plug one, link kind plug two. It's got sort of a funky icon there. So let's edit device. I guess it does have a plug icon. I don't know why it's showing up like that, but let's try it. Okay, on and off. So it's very responsive. Oh, there's the, the plug icon now. So both plugs are on and working properly. So the moral of the story is if you have an, a, uh, excuse me, a SmartThings V3 version three, that's the 2018 hub or an AOTech hub, you can add it directly to the SmartThings app without going through the MSA app. If you have a V2 hub, um, then you need to go the route of having a thread border router to establish the connection to the thread network and then get a uh, matter code to petition it to uh, the SmartThings app like I showed you in the first scenario there. So there you have it. And there you have it folks, the Linkkind Matter Smart Plug. If you're in the market for an affordable matter compatible plug, check out this Linkkind Matter Smart Plug. Don't forget to like this video Subscribe to Bud Smart Home for more tech insights and hit that bell icon to stay updated. Until next time, stay smart and stay connected. As an overview, the Linkkind Matter Part. As an overview, the Linkkind Matter Certified. <laughs> As a brief overview. And there you have it, folks, the Linkkind Smatter part, Smart Plug. <laughs> For more tech insights and hit that icon bell, that bell icon to stay updated. Until next time, stay smart and stay connected.